I am Nurul Fazana Binti Mano. I would like to share about our group product design which is Agronomy for Arm Cultures. The Global for Arm Cultures Market, which is report 2031, highlights that the Global for Arm Cultures Market was valued at USD million in 2020 and expected to reach USD million by the end of 2037. Based on the market survey for my group, we noticed that there are too many types of cultures design in the market. Some of the cultures are affordable in price, yet the design lead to bad experiences for the users like being able to walk for a long distance due to incumbent design and lack of necessary features that add the users while working. So, our group have come up with a solution with the agronomy for arm cultures. They are expected to help the expert people, either the senior, the ordinary, and people with weak legs or injured legs by transferring their body weight evenly from the legs throughout the forearms and removing their pressure is placed on the armpit, wrist, and hand. So, let me introduce you to several user-friendly features attached to the product. First of all, the main material used for manufacturing this plush is aluminum alloy because it's light, cheap, and able to withstand strength from the forearm without buckling. Pillet A is used in trigger fitting for the crushed casing arm, arm pad due to its compact design. The gripping rod and the crush legs are adjustable for comforting the user based on their preference. The height of the crush is adjustable in a range from 940mm to 1000mm which is suitable for user with height from 145cm to 180cm. It is able to restrain weight from the forearm up to 980 Newton. Besides, a rotting cradle allows the user to freely move their forearms up and down. The grip handle is designed ergonomically to prevent hand injuries. The crush tip is also squeezable and provides shock absorption. In addition, an ultralight LED is installed for eliminating the road in front of the dark surrounding and a view in knee rest is attached to the crush for resting the user's leg after a long time wait. Next. I will invite Tate to introduce the IoT part, which is the pole detection system in this crash. Alright, thank you, Nadia. The crash is implemented with the IoT elements, which is the fault detection system. There is a 2000 mAh rechargeable battery to support the system. Charging for our use for 10 hours. Accelerometer's gyroscope model is used to detect falling action as it has been set by using the velocity of the crunch form. When the system is triggered, the buzzer will be activated to notify the surrounding for help and it will send the notification to the link via phone SMS after 10 seconds. So, the family member who link the phone to the crunch know the user current situation. The user need to press the reset button on the crunch casing to reset the system at the same time stop the button. That's all for me. I would like to pass it back to Nadia. Okay Tay, after introducing the product features, I would like to share about the product development in our project. Basically, our product is developed in three categories which are fabrication, programming and 3D printing. The fabrication process is including cutting and drilling the crunch leg, while programming is used for generating the full detection system with the aid of ethical components like the MCU and MPU 6050. Then, 3D printing is applied to print the compact design model like crush casing, arm pad and knee rest. Lastly, sustainability analysis is performed and each area of the environmental impact is determined by the overall amount of material creation, product manufacturing, use, transportation, and end of life. With that, our team hopes that this product will increase users' confidence while using crushes and provide safety and comfort for them. That's all from us. Thank you.